You know, JP, what I was thinking sitting there was, as I said, there really wasn't a ton that was new and fresh. Matter of fact, there was almost nothing that was new and fresh today, with the exception of this new feature called continuity, which I'd like you to talk about. But at a high level, I, I, what I think the takeaway from today is, if you're already thinking about buying an Apple product, um, you're going to be very excited about the Apple products that are available. They're generally going to be better, faster, more powerful, and potentially cheaper. But talk about this continuity thing. Well, I think continuity takes the vision of Apple uh, significantly further. You know, Cook reiterated at the end of the event that what makes Apple so special is the fact that they design and control both the software and the hardware side. And continuity just brings it all together with a very nice sort of bow. So for instance, if I'm working on a, a presentation, a slideshow presentation, on my phone, I can seamlessly transfer that work and continue working unabated on my desktop, and vice versa, which makes it a very nice experience. You know, I'm happy to be proven wrong, but as I was watching Craig Federighi, Apple's top software executive, do the demo on continuity, I was thinking, you're making it look really easy. And I know that I don't have those kinds of experiences. I understand it's very nice. I should be able to do something on my iPhone and in Safari, and boom, it will be on my iPad, and boom, it will be on my iMac. Uh, I wish it were as easy for me as it, as it looked like it was for him. I doubt it'll be as easy for me in reality, but I will say the thing that Federighi has going for him is this sort of on-stage charm or charisma. Um, I think it was very wise that during the event he had the most on-stage time. Uh, he very much sort of carried the show as he's done in the past. There were two very funny humor elements to the program today. Uh, one was a, a live telephone call that Craig Federighi made to demonstrate how the uh, Mac can be used as a speakerphone, essentially. And he called Stephen Colbert, the comedian. They did a very funny bit together. And there was a very funny video around secrecy and showing uh, a secret handshake that a hip young kid knew how to do. And Eddie Q, the head of Apple's online services, did not know how to do. This is the first time that it occurred to me that we're not sitting there thinking, how are they pulling this off without Steve Jobs? It felt to me like this is very normal. We're seeing a bunch of Apple executives, both on stage, in videos. Absolutely, so while today's event might have been sort of predictable with regards to actual announcements, uh, the fact that it was a team effort uh, really showed, and, and showed like an Apple post Steve Jobs. And I'll make one last point. It's, uh, it's something that, Steve, that uh, Steve Jobs did and that Tim Cook did again today at the very end of the presentation. He said, on behalf of myself and the entire executive team, I want to thank everybody for their hard work. It's, it, you could say it's schmalsy uh, if you like, but if, from my perspective, it sends a really good signal. Now we're talking about the corporate aspect, not the consumer aspect that this is a CEO and a management team that takes the time to stop and say thank you. And to me, it felt sincere.